Today I want to talk about React Native JavaScript interface, JSI. And the reason I want to talk about this is to this day, 2019, uh, I still cannot find any videos that specifically talk about JavaScript interface uh, and um, more in detail about the new React Native architecture. So this is like pretty exciting stuff. I'm very excited about this and I want to follow where this is going and hopefully they'll be able to release something soon because I'm very excited for React Native. Um, so what happened was there is a GitHub issue that specifically talk about uh, the new React Native architecture. And this is one of the videos that's referenced uh, from the other two. I believe there's one that's a little bit more advanced. Um, so that is a second part series to be coming. So that one is going to be go more in depth about the JavaScript interface and the turbo modules. So this one, I actually went to the Chain React conference in July, but this is probably the second talk of the first day. So uh, back then I didn't really understand how React Native worked. So I didn't really understand it, even though I was physically there. And now that I've watched it, I have a better, much better grasp of what's going on. So how React Native works is that it breaks down into three threads. The JavaScript VM, where we write our JavaScript code, and then it's compiled into this shadow tree. It's a tree representation of all the UI elements. And this shadow tree performs some optimization and then pass it to the UI thread, which is the native side, which displays um, your views. Uh, so, uh, so this architecture, each of these three threads communicates asynchronously. And it creates performance issues because when the tree is very, very large. When you have a lot of elements to display, uh, sometimes you would uh, have a split second of gray screen. Or if you have a very large list, sometimes it does not perform so well. So the new architecture really addresses how these three threads communicate with each other, uh, especially working on this shadow tree. So the idea is this. Uh, is there a way where the shadow tree can communicate with the UI thread synchronously? Meaning that uh, instead of passing the updates to the UI thread and then, and then uh, letting the UI thread complete back and then going back and forth, uh, we just have these two uh, somehow optimized in one thread. And similarly, uh, is there a way uh, to have uh, a more direct communication between the shadow tree and JavaScript VM. So uh, these are some of the specific cases where uh, using more threads doesn't necessarily result in better performance. Um, so I think this is kind of the main motivation of why Facebook decided to uh, do a re-architecture of React Native. So uh, more specifically, what they're talking about is uh, one of the ways they can, where is this slide? It was supposed to be here. Right, so one of the ways they were looking at is putting the UI thread and the shadow tree on one thread. Um, one of the ways they're thinking about is making the shadow tree immutable so that it's easier to work with in a multi-threaded environment. Uh, and then they're looking at, is there ways to uh, make the JavaScript VM to the shadow tree a uh, little bit better because right now the shadow tree is written in Java and the rest is written C++. So is there a way that you have all these written in the same language so that they can communicate faster? So from what I'm getting is they're getting rid of the bridge and have React Native as a more synchronous uh, approach just kind of like uh, React Fiber. Uh, so what I'm planning to do over the next couple, next several months is to follow the progress of this and then make more detailed videos about this. Um, I would really appreciate it if I can get a lot of feedback, um, questions, comments, um, so that we can have a, a really exciting dialogue about this. Thanks.